Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the National Guard Commander General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, in which he congratulated His Majesty the King on the successful launch of the first Bahrain UAE satellite, Light One. The National Guard commander affirmed that the national achievement is a new historic leap in the Kingdom's march of civilizational gains during the era of His Majesty the King and a translation for his visions for a brighter future. His Highness hailed the efforts of the National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard and Secretary General of the Supreme Defence Council, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in his honourable scientific achievement for the Kingdom and for his support to the national cadres. His Highness wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, following the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Emirati satellite, Light One. His Highness affirmed that this achievement for the Kingdom represents an implementation of His Majesty's vision and reflects the efforts of the national cadres. He praised the contributions of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to this achievement in the field of space science and further serving the Sustainable Development Goals. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on the successful launch of the first Bahraini Emirati satellite, Light One. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak affirmed that the satellite is an advanced and ambitious national project resulting from His Majesty the King's directives to anticipate the future and its sciences through building a space sector capable of exploring the space, technology and innovation which will enable the Kingdom to benefit from such data, place it among developed countries and enhance its comprehensive development process under His Majesty the King's leadership. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed appreciation for the fruitful cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE, praising the contributions of the distinguished national competencies to such a landmark project. His Majesty the King also received a cable of congratulations from His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, following the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Emirati satellite, Light One. His Highness expressed his pride of the National Security Advisor Commander of the Royal Guard and Secretary General of the Supreme Defence Council, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his achievements in various scientific fields to raise the Kingdom's status at all levels. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa following the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Emirati satellite Light One. The Deputy Premier hailed the honourable historic scientific milestone that embodies Bahrain's future aspirations, paying tribute to the Kingdom's competent youth for achieving His Majesty the King's visions. He hailed the efforts of the National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander and Secretary General of the Supreme Defence Council, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended his congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa following the successful launch of the first Bahrain UAE satellite, Light One. His Royal Highness highlighted that this vital project advances the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Deputy King commended the efforts of the National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard and Secretary General of the Supreme Defence Council, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for this scientific achievement. His Royal Highness expressed pride in Team Bahrain's contribution to the project, adding that the satellite's launch is yet another milestone achieved by the Kingdom, thanks to the industry of the determined Bahraini workforce. His Royal Highness congratulated UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan, UAE Vice President and Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan. His Royal Highness also thanked them for the commitment to strengthening bilateral cooperation, including collaboration on space exploration and scientific research. His Royal Highness wished the joint Bahrain UAE space project continued success and expressed hope that it will serve as an example of the scientific progress that the two countries can achieve together.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received a cable of congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, following the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Emirati satellite, Light One. His Highness commended His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's efforts and commitment to supporting the Kingdom's skilled workforce, which has further developed the science and space exploration sectors. He wished the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, in which he congratulated him on the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Emirati satellite, Light One. His Highness affirmed that this honourable scientific achievement affirms the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to keep pace with global developments and advanced technologies as the space sector is one of the most important active sectors supporting the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. The Deputy Prime Minister noted that the development and growth process in Bahrain is able to achieve further progress at all levels as a result of the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to invest in expertise and support and nurture specialised national competencies. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of Bahrain's space team and the cadres of the National Space Science Agency and the role in making this important achievement. He wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Premier, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, following the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Emirati satellite, Light One. His Highness affirmed that this achievement for the Kingdom represents an implementation of His Majesty's vision in light of the process of comprehensive development. He added that the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince has created the optimal environment for such achievements to put the Kingdom among the advanced countries through supporting the youth. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa following the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Emirati satellite, Light One. The Deputy Premier said that the historic scientific achievement reflects the keenness of the government chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to hone the scientific skills of Bahraini youth. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness with good health and Bahrain ongoing progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. <coughs> the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a congratulatory cable from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak, in which he congratulated His Highness on the successful launch of the first Bahrain UAE satellite, Light One. The Deputy Premier stated that the achievement is a result of the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to increase progress in space sciences in advanced scientific achievement that affirms Bahrain's highly skilled youth cadres. In light of His Highness's continued support and keenness on empowering the youth to enable them to innovate and make major achievements that raise the Kingdom's status and increase its civilizational achievements at various regional and international levels. The Bahraini UAE satellite Light One has successfully arrived at the International Space Station, carried on board Falcon 9 rocket that launched yesterday on its SpaceX CRS-24 space flight from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, USA. In this regard, the CEO of the National Space Science Authority, the NSSA, Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim al Asiri, stated that the successful arrival of the Light One satellite to the International Space Station crowns the efforts of the partnership between Bahrain and the UAE in the space sector, as a joint satellite is a result of constructive cooperation between the NSSA and the UAE Space Agency. After the successful arrival of Light One to the International Space Station as part of the Japanese campaign, it will be relaunched into space orbit during the first quarter of 2022 in cooperation with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency to begin its scientific mission in monitoring and studying the emissions of Earth's gamma rays resulting from thunderstorms and cumulus clouds, and the scientific data it will collect will be available for the purposes of research and scientific studies. This valuable scientific data can be a reference for various research in the same field, 
in addition to the possibility of sharing this data and cooperating in study with different research centres around the world. In light of the Royal Directives to provide 40,000 housing units in an implementation of the Royal Order of His Royal Highness the Deputy King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 2,000 housing units on citizens, the Minister of Housing, Abbasim Al Hamar, affirmed that the Ministry is working diligently to provide housing services. He added that the housing units on the sixth day of the distribution and beneficiaries reached 900 housing units. Al Hamar stated that Bahrain's new towns, including East Citra, boast excellent facilities and services. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, has deputised the Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, to attend the graduation ceremony of the 23rd session of Candidate University Officers held at the Isa Military College in the presence of Defence Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Noemi. Some Holy Quran verses were recited and then the graduate stated a military parade. Then a briefing on the session was given and the results were announced. After that, the Defence Affairs Minister presented the awards to the top achievers. Then the graduates took an official oath and received the graduation certificates. The Minister conveyed the congratulations of the BDF Chief to the graduates, as well as his praise of their success in meeting all the requirements of the training during the session. The Minister praised the graduates and the efforts they had exerted throughout the session in order to acquire military sciences. Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Anouemi expressed delight at the graduation of the 23rd batch of candidate officers, wishing them success and the BDF success under the leadership of His Majesty. Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Adia bin Saga Anouemi, Defence Affairs Ministry's Under Secretary, Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Assistant Chief of Staff for Human Resources Major General Sheikh Ali bin Rashid Al Khalifa and senior BDF officers attended the graduation ceremony. Under the patronage of the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, a conference on religious discourse and intellectual security was launched with the virtual participation of 280 imams. The conference carries the slogan, Moderate Discourse and Safe Ideas, featured religious specialists from both sects and discussed the idea of intellectual security in Islam and the dangers of extremism.